everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Miss Teen Cayman Islands is contestant number three. Before an ecstatic audience, the new Miss Teen Cayman Islands, Brianna Livingston of Bodentown, was crowned on Saturday night at the Lions Centre. Miss Livingston was also awarded for the best talent, best in gown, and best in casual wear and sportswear segments. Now, the new Miss Teen bagged a list of prizes, including a scholarship from the Ministry of Education. For the first time this year, the Ministry of Tourism and Transport also offered the pageant support. So, I'll be quiet right there and say, enjoy your night. God bless you. The new Teen Queen's platform for the pageant is anti-body shaming, a subject she plans to continue to focus on during her reign. First runner-up is Kiana Kelly and second runner-up to Shay Can, while Lexi Gold and Janelle Wood also participated. All contestants walked away with various prizes for their continued hard work. I would like to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to the Ministry of Tourism for their sponsorship towards our production. Words cannot express our gratitude for this. I would like to also express much gratitude to the Cayman Islands government and our pageant sponsors for their continued support. A huge thanks to my Miss Dean Committee, trainers, chaperones, and Grand Cayman Toastmasters Club for their dedication and hard work in preparing our contestants over the last four months. And a thank you to our auditors from EY and judges for their assistance, which contributed to us putting on such an amazing show. And last but not least, a big thank you to all of our contestants for their hard work and congratulations to our new queen, Brianna. The Miss Teen Project is also headed up by a lion, uh, Gary Franklin. Now for more details about the Miss Teen Cayman Islands pageant, you can go online to Miss Teen Cayman Instagram and Facebook pages. Well, students from the Cayman Islands who possess passports other than a British passport require a student visa to study in the UK. This includes students with BOTC and Cayman passports. Now, the latest information from Her Majesty's government is that the current processing time for student visas once applications have been submitted is three weeks. Students planning to pursue tertiary education in the UK this academic year are being encouraged to begin this student visa application process as soon as possible. Cayman Islands representative to the UK, Dr. Tasha Evanks garcia encourages students traveling to the UK to reach out to CIGO UK, that's the Cayman Islands government's office in the United Kingdom, should they need support or guidance. Dr. Evanks garcia commented, we are excited to know that we have students considering UK universities and colleges as they pursue higher education. The Cayman Islands government office in the UK stands by, ready to serve and assist those moving from the Cayman Islands to the United Kingdom. Now, the CIGO-UK also invites all to attend Cayman Day. That happens on Saturday, the 17th of September. To register uh, to attend, you can go online to caymanconnection.org. Now, to find out more about the student visa application process, email info.cigo at gov.ky. Well, all government primary schools in the Cayman Islands will reopen for the new school year this Thursday, the 25th of August. Recently, students on Cayman Brack did a special welcome for their teachers who will be going back this week. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Avery Randall, and I will be attending Western Primary School this year. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mateo. Malcolm, and I will be attending the Creek and Spot Bay Primary School this year. And we want to welcome all the teachers back to school. Like me, some of you are headed to a new school and may feel a little scared. I understand because that I felt that way at first too. But don't be scared. Show you a great job taking care of us and making us feel safe and loved. Just like our parents do when they're at home. And they make learning fun and exciting. Because I know you got this. Welcome back, teachers. 
Last week, the Department of Education Services released the start dates for all government schools on the three Cayman Islands for the new academic year. All government high schools, including the Cayman Islands Further Education Center, are scheduled to reopen for all students on Tuesday, the 30th of August. For more details, you can go online to gov.ky. Turning to the forecast, tonight we can expect partly cloudy skies with cloudy spells and a 40% chance of showers and possible thunder. The outlook is for similar weather conditions for the next three days as an upper-level cyclone moves over the Cayman Islands area. The synopsis is for isolated thunderstorms, which are expected tomorrow morning as a tropical wave currently extends across the Cayman Islands area that's drifting west uh, by tomorrow afternoon. A gradual decrease in cloudiness and showers are expected from tomorrow. Well, a reminder that you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CID Television. I'm Donna Bush, inviting you back here again on Tuesday. Until then, stay safe, have a wonderful night. Seek the latest accurate information on COVID-19 only from official sources at gov.ky forward slash coronavirus.